Oh, there's light. Oh. <laughs> uh, what's up, YouTube? Joseph here. I'm giving you guys one of the old school deck profiles that I promised you. And I'm going back to Falcon Control. Uh, for those who may not know, I think this was like a brief period between um, Abyss Rising and Cosmo Blazer. And a little after Cosmo Blazer. I originally did not know this deck existed until a friend of mine was playing it. And then I pretty much built um, a replica of the deck. And hold on, I'm trying to get the stuff. Okay, there you go. So I was trying to get it organized and everything for you guys for this old school deck profile. So what Falcon Control pretty much is, is you abuse the effects of Miss Valley Falcon, the only 2000 effect winged beast monster. That effect was not a effect, it was more of a cost and a condition, uh, rather. So even under, I think the only thing that stopped it was skill drain, but I think even under skill drain it could do that. Uh, someone look that up for me if you get the chance or if I look it up again I'll put it in the comment section below but I'm going to give you guys two versions of Falcon Control I'm going to give you the old school version and then I'm going to give you an up to date version of Falcon Control so let's get off with the old school version so it's pretty much simple we're going to start off with Miss Valley Falcon so this is pretty much your core bread and butter of the deck. Whenever Miss Valley Falcon attacks, you must return a card to the owner's that you control to the owner's hand. Um, you did this with a lot of equipped spells that I'll get into later, and you pretty much equipped into either your cards or your opponent's cards. You bounce them off, or you bounce back a ton of continuous spells and traps that you use um, back to your hand so that you can abuse them again without them having to be destroyed. The only real problem Falcon had was dealing with uh, a series of back row like um, going up against Missile Space Cypher, not Missile Space Cypher, going up against Mirror Flores, um, Sack Armor, if it was played, because I know some versions played Sack Armor, and there were some decks still in that format that didn't have Mirror Force, but were playing Mirror Force as cards. Or just really good destruction battle traps. So it did become a, a problem to this deck, but you uh, had tons of ways to play around it. Next, two Summoner Monk, which were really key in addition spells to summon Miss Valley Falcon or other level 4 monsters from the deck. Um, this is where the deck gets really anti meta. In a sense, it ran two Doom Caliber Knight. And in my version as well, it ran Thunder King. I kind of have my second Thunder King, so I had to pop in a card to put in for Thunder King. So, pretty much, this was your anti meta, and because of the condition effect of Miss Valley Falcon, DC, uh, yeah, DCK didn't negate and destroy the Falcon. So, you pretty much had a way to get over stuff like Effect Valor, uh, Max C. And you had Thunder King also, who could help you deal with the extra deck monsters. In addition, Breaker, the Magical Warrior, who was really good because you can pop with the counter, bounce it back with Falcon, and then put it out onto your field for the next turn. Um, I did remember seeing some versions of an Ultimate Offering, so that you can keep the Breaker effect going, as well as Double Summon. But those seem to be really gimmicky. So, to be careful of that. One Zephyros the Elite and one Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. Of course, this deck did have some tuners, i.e. you could use the Mist Valley tuners of Soldier and Shaman. Uh, I did not have a chance to actually put the, the Soldiers in here. Uh, because another version of this deck that you could run is the Swallows in that setup. With uh, not only Miss Valley Apex. With, I'm sorry. With Miss Valley Falcon, but Miss Valley Soldier, and combine it with Zephyros, so that she can put Falcon onto the board, or put the Soldier on the board, and you see more monsters for high defense. And Gale's just here to be Gale. Uh, the last two monsters in the deck are just are Cyber Dragons, which are technically beaters, so you can beat over stuff if you can normally with Falcon. Onto the spells. We have Triple Big Bank Shot, and this is one of the key cards to the equipped spell lineup. Equip this to your opponent, Bounce it back to your hand, and because it left the field, the monster that was attached to it 
gets banished, so you can get over some more problematic cards. Especially at that time, I could say Mermel was a bit yeah, Mermel. Um, some of the if they weren't already affected by their fire formation cards, the fire fist. And you can really get over some of the, like, adults and stuff, unless they found a way to bounce themselves back. Or they didn't already use Left Year. So. Oh, and some of the Exceed monsters, too. Uh, two Dark World Shackles. And this was just pretty much to make low stuff, um, yeah, give low attacks to monsters. And if you click Big Bang Shot to yourself, you can just inflict piercing damage. And uh, on top of that... Say, not saying again. Spirit Reaper was a really big card that you have to deal with because Falcon itself can get over Spirit Reaper. So you would equip a card to Spirit Reaper and blow up Spirit Reaper because it was being targeted by the effects of a spell or trap. Or a monster effect. So. Uh, Double Swords are revealing light, a stall card, and with Falcon you can just get multiple uses out of it. Uh, to break away from a couple of cards, you had Mystical Space Typhoon. For, I have tons of one of us. Um, one Unite We Stand and one Mage Power. If you're an old school player, you know this combination. You'll gain attack equal to the number of monsters you control. And you'll gain 500 attack and defense for every spell and trap you control. And with Miss Valley Falcon, even though you were bouncing back some, many of them were continuous spells and traps. So, likely, you can just play both of these and end up giving yourself additional attack power to run stuff over. Uh, Book of Moon, the book, I think, was at two at this point. I just don't know where my other moon, I have a ton of Book of Moons, but I just didn't have the chance to put multiples in there, but book was also an option. Uh, One Axe of Fools, and this was pretty much just to negate effects, and then it also inflicts 500 points of damage during each standby phase, so it was a burn out as well. Then Dark Hole and Monster Reborn, which were two of the hottest cards that were off the banned list, um, around this time. So, yeah. following those up are the traps. Triple Fiendish Chain, something that was really abusable with Falcon, and I saw in many of the um, playbacks that I found finally on YouTube that pretty much equipped to an opponent's monster and negate its effects, bounce it back with Falcon, take out that monster. And that's pretty much relatively why this card was really good, especially when it came out. Uh, then, two Mirror Force. Which I found through the list was at two. <laughs> um, two Igor's Attack. So in case you had multiple Falcon, blow up stuff, get rid of stuff, especially during battle phase when you don't want to run into your opponent's more force. Um, my friend and I ran anti spell. And the reason why we ran anti spell was pretty much just to deal with heavy spell decks, and especially when it came to. Fire formation because if you can easily force them to set Tinky and Jinsu at the time, and I'll get to the Harpy variant. Uh, well, actually, I can talk about the Harpy variant right now. In combination with Falcon, you could play Cyber Harpy and Harpy Queen. Harpy Queen can search for Hunting Ground. You can that'll set up for the Hysteric Party. You can bounce it back to reuse the Hysteric Party. Although you use the Harpy monsters. Remember, it's still a continuous trap, so you can bounce it back, call it a haunted like esque effect, and then put the harpies back on the board so you can pop more spells and trap more spells that you'll set with the combination of anti spell. Then, of course, one of one vanities, one solemn warning, and one solemn judgment. Now, for the extra deck, the extra deck is going to be pretty small because I couldn't really think of all the generic cards. But as far as I can give you, I can give you Lightning Shidori, which came out in Cosmo Blazer. Kaga got Cowboy, who I also think, no, he came out in Abyss Rising. Still Swarm Roach, Black Rose Dragon, Stardust Dragon, and Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Because Machines were still, I think Machine stuff was still out. Oh, Gear Gear, that's right. Gear Gear was out. And you could abuse this in combination with, um, was it Gear Gear? I don't know how far Gear Gear was. It was either Gear Gear or Machina. And I know for a fact Cyber Dragon became a key point during that time because of the fact that you needed an out to somebody big. It was, yeah, it was Gear Gear. It was Gear Gear or Machina. 
because of uh big eye that's right and you needed an out to deal with the gear gear monsters the starter dragon is just here in case you ran the miss valley soldiers um black rose uh gale sephiros blood field um some other level four monsters you can include in this are um what's his name what other rank four utopia i think of this Dweller, don't quote me on it, because I don't know how far in Cosmo Place or what. Oh, I gotta look that up, because I think I want to say Abyss Dweller, but I don't want to say Abyss Dweller. Um, let's see. Oh, because there's so many different... I have to look it up, but yeah, it was a ton of, like, level 4s you can use to consider this deck. If you did want to run the level 3s in here, most of your 3s are, like... Uh, Marshmallow, Spirit Reaper, um, I want to say Tor Guy, if Tor, was Tor Guy reprinted by then? Yeah, she was reprinted by then. Yeah, so Tor Guy, and you can go into stuff like, uh, Levier the Sea Dragon, so you can Levier and get your monsters back, wind up Zen Mains. I think he wasn't really a problem, because you can just equip cards like Big Bang Shot to him, bounce it back, and then banish him so that you wouldn't have to deal with his effects. But, yeah, that's pretty much old school version variant one. Give me one second and I can get into version two. Okay, so guys, now I can give you the second version of this deck. And this version is pretty much up to date with the new list and whatever. Um, I was trying to, I could build a heartbeat build, but I'd have to take a lot of stuff out to really get the full um effect of not only hunting ground but a combination of divine wind and then it, yeah, like it's a ton of stuff that i could do with that deck but i'll probably give you guys that in a later deck profile so let's go for this new version we'll rock three miss valley Falcon because of course this is the main denominator of the deck i added three miss valley soldier this is pretty much one of the two tuners in this deck and if it does manage to beat over monsters that can't be destroyed by battle, and it doesn't get destroyed by battle, you can bounce those monsters back to hand. Then, to summon a monk, because there's a ton of level 4s, and monk is really here to help put them onto the board. One Zephyros the Elite. Uh, two Dragoonity Dark Spear. And these guys are here to pop themselves to get a... Um, we can get beasts from the deck, from the graveyard. So in case I, I have fallen Miss Valley Soldiers or Miss Valley Falcons, I can easily pick them up with the Dark Spears. Then I have one Rescue Rabbit followed by three Phantom Griffins. And this is primarily just something that I saw when I was doing my research. And you pretty much bring out the Griffins because they're beaters. Um, they're pretty much part of that whole lineup of uh, 2,000 attack normal monsters with zero defense, so you can easily just pick these guys back up and bring them out with Rabbit. And for my spells, we're still rocking the triple Big Bang Shot. We're following that up with the double Swords of Revealing Light, 2 MST, oh, I should have to do quiz spells first, um, 2 Dark Shackles, I mean, Dark World Shackles, sorry. Swallow's Nest, which makes its appearance in this deck, in this version. You can really swap out a lot of your monsters to put in the monsters that you need. Then, two Supply Squad. So, in case your monsters start getting destroyed, you can just start drawing stuff off of that. Right, Geki and Dark Hole. Then, for our traps, Triple Fiendish Chain. Double Storming Mirror Force, Double Icarus, and because I only have two, two Powerful Rebirth. Powerful Rebirth pretty much targets a level 4 monster in your graveyard, so I'm going to call it a haunted, and then you can put such on that monster, give it additional 100 attack, 100 defense, and unlike Hall of the Haunted, you can bounce this card back and it will not destroy the monster. Then two Anti Spell. Because, of course, we want to deal with any massive spell decks that we possibly can. And with the effects of Falcon, she can easily bounce them back. 
And speaking of the effects of Falcon, I thought Imperial Order would be a really good addition to this deck. Now, although you play a ton of spells, your opponent plays a ton of spells. And with Imperial Order, you can easily bounce it back with Falcon's effect and send it back to your hand so that you can set it again with a whole bunch of traps and stuff in your hand, activate it, and force your opponent to not play spells. The game. So, now, next to the extra deck, which it had its update. With Rocking to Light Nichidori. One Harpy's Pet Phantasmal. Yes, tons of wind monsters, so why not put at least one in? One Castell. One Ice Beast Zero Fine. One Ray Raptor Blade Burner Falcon. And this is primarily because of all the winged beasts. Two Gaga Gaga Cowboy. One Digastel Emerald. One Steel Swarm Roach. One Corgorgony Anti Luminescent Knight, one 101 Silent Auto Arc, and one 106 The Giant Hand. And to follow those up are our Synchro Monsters, a Black Earth Dragon, and Stardust Dragon. So, I pretty much gave you guys the revamp in the original version of both Falcon Control. I do hope you like it. I decided to really just step out and do a different type of deck to see how it appeals to my fans and to all my viewers out there. So, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, you guys, this is HBJ signing out.